The life of George H.W. Bush, honored on Thursday by friends and family. George Herbert Walker Bush is the most gracious, most decent, most humble man that I will ever know. And it's the honor of a lifetime to share his name. Former Secretary of State James Baker delivered a eulogy for his best friend, recounting the president's many accomplishments. After becoming the youngest naval aviator, he served in increasingly responsible positions on behalf of his country. And giving insight into the man behind the presidency. George Bush was a charter member of the greatest generation. His humor. He would look at me and he'd say, Baker, if you're so smart, why am I president and you're not? And humility. Be kind to people, he would say. And he was. The state funeral culminating this afternoon with a journey aboard the Bush 4141, a rare locomotive commissioned in 2005 to honor the president. The train, once operated by Bush himself, carrying the statesman to his final resting place at Texas A&M University, where he'll be laid to rest beside his late wife Barbara and their daughter Robin, marking the end of a life, but not a legacy. Because our glory, George, was to have had you as our president and as such a friend.